Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. G coming to you with another video on sorting and patterns. Now earlier we spoke about sorting objects out and separating them into different groups based on their attributes. And as we said, attributes are characteristics, words that we use to describe these shapes. Sometimes we describe them and we separate them based on their color, shape, size. So here we're going to look at how we can sort objects out in more than one way. Now first we can sort objects out based on their color. We have in front of us, that's right, a triangle. What's next? A square, then an oval, and lastly, you guessed it right, a circle. Now those are all together. They're different shapes, but they're all red so we can put them in the same group because they're the same color. Next, we can separate objects because of their shape. What shape do we have in front of us? If you look at all four, what do you see? That's right, rectangles. The first one's a little smaller, then they get bigger and a little smaller, so the size changes, but they're all the same shape. And because they are, we can put those in the same group at times because they're all rectangles. They're different colors, but they're all rectangles. So that's just another way we can sort objects into categories. And lastly, we have size. What shape do you see here in front of you now? That's right, it's a diamond shape. Now they're all different colors, but the size is the same. The shape is the same as well, but the size is also the same. So at times, we can separate these diamonds into one group, put them all into one group because of the size. It is all the same, it remains the same. Let's try a little exercise to see and you can demonstrate to me that you know what we're talking about, that you know the different ways in which you can sort out objects. Take a look. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, we have a bunch of gingerbread children. They look very similar, almost all the same, but there's a few things that are different about each and every one of them. So how can you help me sort out the gingerbread children? Have a close look at the bottom of the screen. Now the two circles in the middle of the page, on the left side, we're going to sort them all out. We're going to put all the ones that have stripes on the left, and we're going to put all the ones that have buttons on the right. We're going to give them groups of their own, circles that they can stand in because they're very similar. They have the same attribute. If we look at the bottom here, the first one that we look at has buttons. That's right. So we're going to put the one with buttons right over here. That gingerbread child has buttons. What about the next one? That's right, also has buttons, so we can put him in the same circle. And the next one, buttons as well. You are right, it goes in the right circle here because they have the same attribute. They all have buttons. Now take a careful look at the next gingerbread child. That's right, stripes. So we're going to move that one here to the left because that child cannot go in the other circle because it doesn't have the buttons like those three. Next, stripes again. You are right, so that will go here to the left. Have a look at the next one. Stripes, left circle or right circle? You're right, it goes to the left. The next one stripes as well, and that will go to the left. So, you should start to see a pattern here. We are sorting them out depending on who has stripes and who has buttons. The next one is buttons. You're right, off to the right circle. Stripes to the left. Buttons to the right, again 
to the right, stripes to the left. And the last two, one has buttons, and the last one has stripes. So boys and girls, if you look at two, two circles in, on the page in front of you, you should see that we have sorted out the gingerbread children because a group of them had stripes and the other group had buttons. So their attribute, this is the one attribute we used to sort them out and put them into groups. This is Mr. G signing off one more time on a video on sorting. So please stay tuned for another video on sorting. If you have any more questions, if you want to try another question, there is another video on sorting and patterns if you just click on the next video. Thank you very much, and we'll be seeing you soon.